good morning all of you. My name is Prasina, Associate Professor, Department of Pharmaceutics, National College of Pharmacy. Then we uh, go for the classification of dryers. Here, so many equipments is uh, used for the drying process. Here, the, here the type of dryer, the mechanism of drying, and the examples of the dryers. Here, first uh, type of dryer is static bed dryer. Here the mechanism is the system involved. There is no relative movement among the solid particles being dried. Uh, the example is spray dryer. In this static means there is no relative movement. This type of dryer example is the spray dryer and the, the freeze dryer. Then second one is the moving bed dryer. The me uh, mechanism of the moving bed dryer here. Uh, the system which drying particle is partially separated so they flow each other. That type of uh, dryer example is a drum dryer. The next one is the fluidized bed dryer here. Uh, the system in which solid particles is partially suspended in the upward moving heated gas system. The example is the fluid fluidized bed dryer. The last one is the pneumatic dryer. The pneumatic dryer system, the mechanism is the drying particle, drying particle is entered and conveyed high velocity of the gas stream. The example is the Spray dryer. Then uh, we go for the equipments. First equipment is spray dryer. The mechanism involved in spray dryer is in spray dryer, hot air is continuously circulated by forced conduction take place to remove the moisture uh, from the solids placed on the trays. Simultaneously, the moist air is removed partially, and this is called a shelf or cabin or compartment dryer. Here, uh, in the uh, principle, the hot air is continuously circulated by forced convection. The forced convection means uh, it is a uh, uh, heat transfer in two processes, mainly two processes, conduction and convection. Here, forced convection process is involved in, uh, to, uh, with the dry process. Here, remove the moisture content from the solids placed on the trays. And simultaneously, the moisture air is removed partially. Then we'll go for the construction. Here it consists of the rectangular chamber whose walls are insulated and uh, their uh, trays are placed inside the heating chamber. Here the in laboratory, uh, there are three trays uh, minimum in industries, uh, more than 20 or uh, 30 trays in the. In each tray is rectangular or square type, uh, it's about 1.22. Uh, 2.4 meters square uh, in area. The trays are loaded 10 to 100 mm deep. Here, the distance between the bottom, uh, bottom of the upper tray and the surface of the subse uh, substance loaded, the subsequent tray, minimum uh, it must be the distance is 40 mm. The dryer fitted on a fan for the circulating air over uh, the trays and uh, the corner of the chamber. The direction of uh, weight, uh, direction of weights are placed in direct in the expected path. Here this is a schematic representation for the tray dryer. Here uh, the air inlet and then uh, heater, then the flat is placed in the and then air outlet and then uh, so many trays. This is in this I mean, this is laboratory scale. So four trays is uh, here. Uh, in this, <coughs> this is the industry uh, uh, industry level uh, tray dryer. In the working, a wet solid mass is placed on the trays, and the fresh air is introduced into the uh, to the inlet bus passes to the heaters and the uh, uh, guest heater. Then the hot air is separated by means of 2 to 5 meter per second. Then turbulent uh, flow of uh, uh, air is lower the vapor pressure of the atmosphere and reduces the thickness of the boundary layer. Then uh, as the water evaporates uh, from the surface and water diffuses from the interior of the solid by capillary reaction. This occurs in a single pass of air. Then the time contact is very short and the amount of water picked up in a single pass is very small. So therefore, discharge is air of 80 to 90% it is circulated, uh, uh, circulated.
separated back to the fats. Only 10 to 20 percentage fresh air is introduced. Okay. Then go for the advantages. Here handling of materials uh, can be done without losses. Then uh, the second advantage is it can be operated in batch wise. And the following reasons, each batch can be separate entities. So many uh, particles dried uh, powder, uh, powder forms in pharmaceutical industry is dried by using the dry dryer. Equipment is readily adjusted uh, for the use of drying variety of materials. Then the valuable products are efficiently. These are the advantages of the dry dryer. Then the disadvantages is that it is requires uh, more labels uh, to load and unload it. And this is the time consuming process. Then uses of the trade dryers, following substances to be tried like uh, sticky materials, then plastic substances and precipitates, uh, chemicals and a tablet dangerous. These are the uses of the trade dryer. Thank you.